exactly. I mean, there's, there's Sanchez stories where, like, things that people didn't know about. You know, when I got shot at point blank range in um, Prague with a shotgun. The guy, the, the cameraman, actually, he fucking shot me, blew me, blew me back. It went completely wrong. I mean, try staring down the barrel of a gun when you know it's going to get shot at you. It's fucking terrifying. And he shot it, and I fucking blew backwards. It went through the bulletproof vest and damaged my side. One of the bullets went through my arm. And then uh, I got told by the cameraman that he forgot to press record. And he said, can you do it again? <laughs> I was like, what? My theory on life is to uh, live day by day, uh, have a laugh, because there's no point being here if, if you're not going to have fun, and uh, just wait and see what happens. If you die tomorrow, you die tomorrow. Well, there was a, there was a little bit of a glitch in the matrix. I suppose um, it was just a case of uh, living a bit of a wild lifestyle before, and uh, drinking heavily, you know, the kind of stuff you do when you're young. And uh, the realization that I'm getting a little bit older, I need to start looking after myself. Uh, so yeah, just triathlon it was, going to the gym, and uh, the next thing was turning vegan. And it's just, it's something, I thought veganism was something, you, you just don't eat meat and dairy. But there's, there's more to it than just that. I mean, obviously when I watch Cowspiracy, that opened my eyes to everything else that comes along with being vegan. And uh, that's why I decided to go vegan. Cool, yeah, come on. Up. I finished touring about three and a half, four years ago. Uh, basically just years of touring. And then it was just me and Dane touring. And it was just, yes, I like anything, it just becomes too much. And, and you know, seeing an old man sticking drumsticks up his, st sticking drumsticks up his ass on stage and doing stuff like that was just, I don't know, it, in my head it's starting to be a little bit wrong. It's the kind of stuff you do when you're younger. Nothing to do with growing up or anything, it's just, a bit weird, like young people seeing older men doing stuff like that on stage. So I had a break, concentrated on uh, the tattoo and barber shop, and then me and Dint, along with Matt Stocks, who does uh, Life in the Stops podcast, who's into and interviewed quite a few big names and stuff. We just put this show together where me and Dint actually went on the road and did a spoken word rather than going on stage and smashing each other up and just sharing stories of our years in Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> I got married to Pancho, and that was a big uh, question on tour. Are you still married to Pancho? Yes, I am officially married to Pancho still. I thought it was a joke. Just gonna be like a joke. Pancho looked all lovely in his white dress and stuff. And then, uh, little did I know, Dan, Dan, got, Dan Joyce got it ordained on the internet. And I signed legal papers, so I'm, you know, I mean, I'm engaged to my missus. We're getting married in 2020, so I, I got to get divorced from Pancho first. <laughs> I hope he doesn't kick off and say, "I want half of your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I want half your shop. I want half of everything." I don't think I'm addicted to pain. I just, I like pushing my, I like pushing myself. It makes me feel makes me feel alive, makes me feel like I'm doing something. Because that, the agony that I'm in the day after doing an Ironman, to, to most would be like, oh fuck that. But when I wake up, I'm like, I, that, that kind of pain, I really, I, I know it sounds weird, but I really enjoy that pain. Because I know mentally that, yeah, you know, that day before, I, I did something positive, if that makes any sense. Rather than nailing my cock to a bit of wood, <laughs> which I find, yeah, it's hilarious, but it's a negative kind of pain. But uh, an Ironman or a triathlon or a, a long distance swim, run, bike, or whatever it may be, to me that's a positive, positive yeah. pain. So I can wake up knowing I'm in pain because I did something positive.